Dubai is a desert oasis that's too crazy to be real, and yet, there it is, shining in the middle of a dry, hot climate and offering a real-life fantasy for anyone who can afford its fancy attractions and wealth. Join the richest as we journey into this city where anything you ever dreamt about could possibly become a reality, as long as you have the cash to make it happen. Here are the 15 most insane things you will only see in Dubai. And while we're here, click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on every insane destination out there. Some things you need to see to believe. First things first, let's talk about the elephant in the room. There is a lot of gold in this city, more gold than a Bond villain's dream vault, and that comes with the territory. You see, Dubai is teeming with wealth thanks to its oil-rich territory. All this oil allows Dubai citizens to have all the perks that come with the city. So many perks, in fact, that there are ATMs in Dubai that don't just distribute cash, they hand out gold as well. Now, why you'd need to go to a vending machine to withdraw gold, we're not entirely sure. But hey, why not join the club? And then, when you're done, stop by Gold Souk, a gold market with wall-to-wall -wall jewelry that can all be haggled for. You see, Dubai is a city of extremes, and for all the upper-class frivility on display, there is genuine kindness expressed as well. The Nom Nom Asia restaurant offers a free combo meal to anyone who is unemployed or looking for work. They suggest that one can come back and pay for the meal when they're able to, but until then, Nom Nom has their back. It's nice that citizens of Dubai are going above and beyond to take care of their fellow men and women in need, especially when so many Dubai residents go above and beyond for their pets. Many of the people inhabiting the city of gold have been photographed sporting the most exotic pets you can imagine. Whether it's a photo of a camel sitting in a parking space or a giant cat standing in the trunk of an SUV, Dubai's pets have gone viral in the past. While we're sure most people in Dubai go to great lengths to own their crazy pets in the picture, don't be surprised to come across a lion crammed in the back seat of a sports car driving next to you on your next joyride through United Arab Emirates Highway. But hey, if you've learned anything so far, it's that the people of this town don't exactly do what's expected, especially when you see how they've turned the harsh desert climate into paradise. They've even taken the thermostat in the opposite direction, with Ski Dubai serving as a world-famous indoor ski slope. By keeping their temperature between 28 and 30 degrees Fahrenheit on a regular basis, the three football fields worth of space remain snow-covered. The sheer size of this man-made park has gained it the distinction of being the third biggest snow sport resort on Earth. Various skill levels can hit the hills, tube down the slopes and enjoy the snow cavern and freestyle park so that the entire family can enjoy the snow without having to worry about an avalanche taking them out. But how do all these families go from one attraction to the next? How else? In style, of course. Dubai is known for its abundance of sports cars. In fact, traffic jams will often include the finest cars on the market, so at least you'll have something to look at as your automobile inches from point A to point B. Interestingly enough, even the cops are driving the hottest wheels. Bugatti, Lamborghini, and McLaren vehicles have served the city's police force in the past, so imagine getting pulled over for a speeding ticket by one of these sleek vehicles. It just doesn't seem right. Well, if you get enough strikes in your license, you can always Uber or Lyft from place to place. In Dubai, you can cab it in a Rolls Royce hail and if traffic is too bad, fly over the jam in your Uber chopper. In the event that all the Uber choppers are taken, you could always try going underwater. Yes, even though Dubai is bordered by seemingly endless fields of sand, they know how to make the most of their waterway access. And you don't need to wait for a ferry to pick you up, because water transportation can be surprisingly private. Like James Bond's Lotus, amphibious cars are the thing in the city of gold. The Dubai Motor Festival has played host to vehicles that resembled Jeeps on the outside, but once they hit the water, they took to the H2O like Michael Phelps hopped up on a 24-hour energy drink. Yeah, this town is basically a 007's kind of paradise, and you don't have to be a super spy or a stunt driver to enjoy the getaways available to everyday people here. But an amphibious car might be helpful when trying to reach the undersea attractions available here. The Atlantis Resort stays true to its name by offering overnight stays in its underwater room, basically an aquarium with a bed. 
The curved wall to ceiling glass will envelop your sleeping arrangements, giving you a 360 degree view of the sea life around you. In the event you prefer to enjoy a waterway in public, you can take a trip to the Dubai Mall. Unlike the shoppers lurking around your local stores, you can scuba dive with all the little fish in the mall's aquarium. This all sounds nice, but perhaps neither land nor sea do it for you, and maybe you'd prefer to be stationary. Then consider landing your ride-sharing helicopter into the Burj Al Arab helipad, and after landing, stay there for a while. This particular helipad is situated high off the grounds, over 900 feet in fact. The helipad has played a host to a number of events through the years. Whether it was an unofficial 2005 tennis match between Andre Agassi and Roger Federer, or a golf swing from Rory McElroy in 2011, Red Bull Racing even had driver David Coulthard do donuts in one of their Formula One race cars from the helipad. Going outside of the city's boundaries, you can risk the desert heat and chart the surrounding arid landscape. Yeah, it's hot. But for all those Dune fans out there, you can sign up for a tour with a company like Desert Safari Dubai, which offers morning, evening, and overnight trips into the desert and back. With a company like Desert Safari Dubai, you can go dune bashing, which is basically exactly what it sounds like. You speed around dunes in an SUV, bouncing over the hills and kicking up waves of sand, then kick it outdoors with a barbecued kebab, some shisha, and belly dancing. If you're not into that, the opposite of a desert safari would be the jaunt through Dubai's Miracle Gardens. This huge, beautiful land of flowers is a sight for sore eyes and a sniffle for seasonal allergies. Landscaped with winding paths and interwoven patches of every type of flower you could imagine, a path through heart-shaped archways, sculptures of faces, and cars and boats and flamingos, all covered in floral arrangements. With an amphitheater, a village, a small-scale replica of the Burj Khalifa, and a parked Arab Emirates jet. And if you dig the sound of a trippy place that's beautiful to look at, but don't feel like sharing that with anybody, maybe one of Dubai's man-made islands is for you. The first of these is the Palm Jumeirah. This one's open to the public and quite a hot tourist spot. Its beaches and its distinctive palm tree shape make it a beautiful sight to behold. Then, there's the famous World Islands, with pieces of land made from the sand dug up from the bottom of the Persian Gulf. The World Islands, when viewed together, form the shape of the seven continents and boasts personal chalets for visitors to get some beachside privacy. If you decide to return to the outside world, take the monorail back to the center of the city and embark on the world's longest urban zipline. The one kilometer long ride gives you a view over the docked boats of Dubai's marina. Then, if this left you overheated in anticipation, cool down in another type of amusement that Dubai specializes in, water parks. A water slide called the Jumeirah Scara just gave you the same feeling as the world's longest zip line. This slide takes you from a height of over 100 feet and gives you a near vertical drop. After a day of zip lines and water slides, maybe you need to truly relax. Dubai offers plenty of world-class spas, but you could do it all naturally by leaving the modern comforts behind and trekking into the nearby mountains. Just about 60 minutes outside of Dubai, the town of Al Ain is located on Jebel Hafit, one of the highest peaks in the country. In Al Ain, creeks cut through the craggy desert sites and green grass punctuates the dry land. Hot springs offer good means for relaxation away from the hustle and bustle. And let's say you're loving the experience, but you're tired of, well, Dubai. Then you can hop on over to the global village. It's like Epcot, but more worldly. There's the obligatory Ferris wheel, a circus, and an international staff serving foods from around the world. Performances encapsulate the type of entertainment you'd see in Asia or Africa or America, and it's all housed in buildings reminiscent of the architectural style of the countries it's representing. The Global Village has its own take on the Roman Colosseum, Big Ben, and the Statue of Liberty. Why just stay in your Dubai resort when you can go everywhere else? Maybe you've seen everything new about Dubai. Then take an Abra along Dubai Creek and venture into Old Dubai. An Abra is basically a long wooden passenger boat that looks big enough for about 20 passengers. These $1 ferry rides can take you into Deira. 
an older town that may be modernizing but still has some of the history of Dubai before its mid 20th century oil boom. The Heritage House is true to its name, and a visit to its home will give you the insights into its former inhabitants, a well to do merchant's family who dealt in the business of pearls. Dubai used to rely on the pearl trade before it struck oil, and if history isn't your thing, you can always make your own memories in one of the many attractions new Dubai has to offer. Just make sure you withdraw enough gold from the vending machine. So those are the things you can only find in the opulence and the mystery of Dubai's city of limits. Are there any other things we may have missed? Are there any cities that offer even crazier sights to see? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more insane guides like this one. Get lost with the riches and we'll always find some new and exciting place for us all to venture to. See you around!